You are watching Sean Ward's YouTube channel. SeanWard.net is the website. And if this isn't the Monday show, I don't know what is. So here's what's going on in the world is there's a big hurricane that's about to hit the Canadian East Coast. And so I thought it would be a good time to take a look at the top five or bottom five, depending on how you look at it, worst or best Canadian hurricanes. This is in chronological order, not, not uh, damage order or anything like that, but the first was in 1775 when Newfoundland was hit with not only the first recorded hurricane on Canadian soil, but also so far the deadliest, killing 4,000 people. Now you gotta wonder, had they never bothered to start keeping track of this stuff, would it ever have occurred? What's the cause and effect there? Ooh, we'll never know. And then there was a lull from 1893 to 1938, they didn't see it any action, but then on October 8th, 1939, a Category 1 hurricane hit the East Coast hard. Then in 1954, Hurricane Hazel hit not only the East Coast, but came in as far as Ontario. Now check this out, it leveled 20 bridges. This is on Ontario now, where we're not prone to natural disasters. 20 bridges taken out, 81 people killed, 2,000 families left homeless, and a flash flood killed 35 people on one Toronto street. I'm glad I wasn't there for that. Then in 2003, Hurricane Juan hit the East Coast, killed eight people, and left 300,000 people without power for two weeks. Imagine how they got to smelling. And then last but not least on our list of the top slash bottom five hurricanes to ever hit Canadian soil is Hurricane Igor. And the reason why Hurricane Igor is on the list is because it hasn't happened yet. And that means that history is in the middle of being written, carrying the potential for both the best and the worst of outcomes. Let us dream wistfully for a moment of what could be. Lots has been going on in the past week. Now, last week on the Monday show, you saw that I was uh, lucky enough to be able to attend a couple of Toronto International Film Festival parties. Well, this past week, uh, I got to not only attend a couple of more parties, but actually attend some screenings. So check those videos out. Uh, click on these boxes right there. Those two boxes. You good? Click them. Come back. All right. And then... Uh, the last of those two screenings that I got to attend was the gala premiere for Beginner's Guide to Endings. Now, um, I've always wanted to go to uh, one of the gala premieres for the Toronto International Film Festival. Who wouldn't? Get dressed up, the stars are out, it looks like fun. So this year uh, was the first year that I got to do it. So thanks very much to Michael Noose and to ClubStellaArtois.com for the hookup on that one. And uh, meeting Harvey Keitel and uh, Trisha Helfer and uh, Paulo Costanzo and Jonathan Solo who's the director of the movie um, getting to meet those people and to hang out was uh, so so sweet and so fun especially in light of how bloody good the movie was so definitely check out my uh, review of that movie with Michael Noose it's in the video of the night that we went to the premiere and uh, that's about it for right now tonight I'm going to see a advanced screening of a new movie called Catfish uh, tomorrow is the Toronto Maple Leafs uh, preseason opener against the Ottawa Senators oh, age-old rivalry coming to town and uh, yeah, just uh, keeping it hot, keeping these videos rolling for you. So thanks so much for dialing it up and tuning in and clicking the links and coming to see me. Um, you're who I do it for, so you keep watching, I'll keep making them.